Okay, so ChatGPT's new update might be the biggest thing ever for AI digital design sellers on Etsy and print-on-demand sellers. And it's really scary how good it is. But if you use it the right way, you can use it to create insanely good designs that actually sell without being a copycat. If you are new around here, I am Bailey, the owner of Bailey Design Co, a seven-figure digital design shop on Etsy. And I now teach others how to create the same types of shops with AI on this YouTube channel and in my online communities. Today, I'm breaking down the newest chat GPT update, how I use it for AI designs and the right way to turn it into best selling Etsy listings without getting your shop shut down or being a copycat. So here's the thing. This new update is mind blowing. I can literally just add a couple of sentences or upload a screenshot of a design and get a beautiful design that would have taken me hours in Photoshop to make in just a few seconds. But, and this is a big, but just because something is super easy, doesn't mean that you should be using it in a way that just replicates others' hard work. Trust me, in the early days of my Etsy POD shop and design shop, I thought that just recreating and tweaking bestsellers would be the fastest way to get the most amount of sales. But at the end of the day, what actually made me sales was being able to be unique and bring something different to the table. So if you want to build a long-term shop that actually consistently makes sales over the years, then let's talk about the right way to use this tool. So first off, we need to know what's actually selling. As I always say, you are not designing for yourself, you are designing for what people actually purchase. So to do this type of research, I've actually went over to Etsy and typed in trendy ghost PNG. So I'm typing in ghost PNG because it is the time when Halloween and full designs have begun to start selling here in July. And so we definitely want to be a good two to three months ahead of when this is actually going to be super popular. I'm also looking at this because as far as what I've seen, the little ghosts are becoming more evergreen, meaning they are selling year around versus just before, right before Halloween. And the two listings that I've chosen to analyze today, one is only one month old and has made over 115 sales at this point. And the other is about seven months old and it's made hundreds of sales. And this means that since it was created only seven months ago, it was actually created after Halloween of 2024, and it has still made hundreds of sales, not the in the peak season of fall and Halloween, which is why I think that this little ghost style trend or aesthetic, whatever we want to call it, is becoming more evergreen. So as we scroll down through the page, you're going to be looking for things like popular now badges, bestseller badges, and if you have the Chrome extension Forever Be installed, you can actually see the sales data here. So for example, this one is about a year old and has made 319 sales, meaning they put this up right in July of last year. And so this is the total sales that it is estimated to have at this point. I'm sorry, this one averages about 319 sales per month again, on average, not total. So this is crazy that this has done this for the past 12 months, even though you would think that this is typically a seasonal or holiday type of a graphic. So this first one here that we're looking at is basically about one month old. This is another indication that can show demand. So two people have bought this in the last 24 hours. But if we take a look at this actual listing over here in Earring, you're going to see that it has had about 115 sales. Again, this listing is only one month old. The second one that we'll look at is the seven month old listing. So it's this one. Another indication of its popularity is that it is in 10 carts. And this is actually a print on demand product, meaning it's a physical product. They create the design and then use a print supplier like Printify to actually print this item. So this is the one that has actually made substantially more just because there is a bit more profit when you are selling physical products. If you take a look at the Everbe extension here of the data, it averages about $2,400 per month with a total of 642 sales. And again, it's about seven months old showing that this design and product is actually more evergreen and not necessarily a Halloween product. So now this is where we are going to use ChatGPT to actually analyze these designs and then come up with new ones based on the style and trend that will sell. Again, the intent is not to copy at all, but to use AI to come up with a really great prompt that still maintains 
some type of the style and design aesthetic to make sure that it will sell on our particular product, but still bring something unique. So in ChatGPT, and I do use the 4.0 version, I've just put a screenshot of the first design. Again, this is the one month old. And I said, write an image generation prompt for this image. Don't worry, we are not going to be copying this. Again, this is to come up with something new and unique. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm able to do that. So then first off, it gives me a mid journey AI prompt to recreate this style. And I will have a link down in the description actually to this entire prompt flow, including all of the AI image generation prompts that I have got out from this. And again, that is just in my free community. If you want to be sent the direct link for that, then just comment the word ghost down below and we will send that to you just to make sure that you can just copy and paste all of these prompt flows so that you're not trying to remember this or type it out word for word. So then next, just to make sure it's actually giving me something in the style that I wanted, I had it go ahead and make the image here in ChatGPT. I personally don't create my images here in ChatGPT. I will use another AI software, usually one that has an editing tool. So I will show you that in just a minute, but I just wanted to make sure that I was getting the style correct. And as you can see, compared to what was provided up here, it is really close in terms of the design style and aesthetic. So I know that I want to move forward with the base of this prompt and then work on it to make it unique and defined. So then my next step is to go ahead and make it different. So I said, now make this prompt even better, more unique and change the color palette, but keep the style aesthetic. Then I went ahead and copied the prompt and then it gave me a definitely much bigger prompt. You can see how much longer this is. And I didn't really read through it just because I wanted to be surprised as far as what it came out with when I took it into my AI tool. It then went ahead and said, do you want me to make three alternative vibe variations or keep the prompt the exact and make in five color palettes, which I then said I wanted to swap for five different color palettes for individual designs. Okay, so now it's giving me five different variations. We have a moody twilight forest variation, retro candy Halloween, witchy cottage garden, gothic jewel tones, and a fantasy pastel dream type. I then added a few more style elements, like I wanted it in the tattoo watercolor style, which really just makes it more hand-drawn when it comes to the finished product. Then it went ahead and rewrote all of them again. And then it was at this point that I went and took all of these individual prompts and put them into one of my favorite AI editing tools that also has an AI image generator. So over here in Kittle, I have already generated these. Again, the prompts for these will be included in the entire AI prompt flow. Just be sure to comment the word ghost and we will send you the direct link for that. But the first one that it generated was that forest type of a theme. And overall, this one turned out really great. I think it's a super cute variation. It would work really well for a t-shirt or a sweatshirt design or for an AI graphic as well if you are just selling it on the digital side. This next one was like the retro pastel candy cord type of a color palette. And I think it really did a good job with this one as well. I love how bright it is. So I would probably choose this one over the first one if I was making this one myself. This one was the witchy cottage core type of a vibe. It definitely is more like boho color styled. And so that's why I think that this one turned out with the muted color palette. Again, not necessarily my favorite. The favorite one is the one that will come in just a moment. And so this one overall was a really good job. The next one that it did was the pastel one, which was the last one. And I really like this one as well, just because it had the same little retro type of a ghost meeting the two little oval black eyes and then that's it and then maintained the shape but then i really liked the color palette of this one so now going back to the one that has been up for about seven months and is just selling really successfully without it being actually halloween is this like lacy vintage type of a coquette so it does have a few different style elements that are popular mainly being like the coquette with the bow and the lace features, but then it's also combining the retro features with those types of watercolor flowers. So then all I did was go over into ChatGPT and say to keep the exact same prompt structure, 
as far as the style and the color palette, but I wanted to add in this lacy feature. So then I first got this one, which I really like this one because I like how it pulls out into these like lacy tails as far as part of the ghost, but kept the lace here in this part. And then I really liked the color palette as well. The second one that it did was this one here, and it's just a, the same prompt. I just ran it again twice because you will get something different every single time that you run it. So this one turned out really well as well. I like how it swooped up this way and then has the drip. So theoretically, I would be keeping both of these to use as I really liked both of them. So as you can clearly see, we got something completely different and unique from just uploading a screenshot of these originals. And then we were able to customize it according to different types of styles and color palettes and aesthetics and get something that is something more unique, different, so that we have the best chance of standing out. You can then go as far along with this as you want, telling it to recreate 10 more of these in more different types of color palettes, add different types of Halloween attributes like maybe bats, or maybe you could do something like candy themed with the ghost, say candy corn, or maybe some pumpkins to definitely try and be different than what was standing out on that first page, but still maintain that particular style aesthetic that is selling really well. Again, be sure to comment the word ghost down in the comments below, and I will be sure to send you the link to the entire AI flow of this. It was rather detailed and very long, which is why it can't be copied in the description. It is well over the limit. And I will be sure to send you that link as soon as possible. As always, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.